Hi, today I will talk about problem number 203, remove linked list elements at eCode. So the question says, remove all elements from a linked list of integers that have value val. So the input example given is 1, 2, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the value is 6. So the question is basically asking to remove the number 6 from this list such that the output will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So the first thing we do is let us imagine this. So a linked list will look something like this, with this pointing to 2, with this pointing to 6, to this pointing to 3, and so on and so forth. I wouldn't draw the whole thing just to save up space to write the code. The code will also be available in the description area. So the first thing we see here is that we want to delete the value 6 from this list and by doing so what we can do is connect the pointer of the second to the third here therefore skipping this so how can we do this in code so the first way to think about it is we can create a variable called current right and we can start writing that here so let's say the current will be pointing at the head, which is in this case here. So we can say while current, which is basically while the value is true, while you haven't reached the end here, which is null, I want you to check two conditions. If the current value actually equals the value, which is right here, do something, else it doesn't equal that value, so do something else. So the way we would think about it, if we want to skip the connection from here to here, we need to create a second variable to keep track of the previous value. So here we created one variable called current equal head, oh sorry, here is just a little bit of indentation here. Uh, you got the current equal head, we need another one, and for this case we're going to call it priv, which is, in this case, previous. But we cannot set the previous to head, and that is, and that is because if the first node here would be, let's say, number 6, then you will lose the head forever. So the best way to do this is to create a dummy node at the back here and make it point to this. So this here will be a dummy node. So the way we can do this in Python is we can say dummy equal list node and in lead code they defined the list node earlier and we can just give it none. And we can say dummy next, which is this right here, points to the head. So this line of code here basically says that dummy next points to the head here, just like when um, the current equals the head. And the previous can equal this dummy value. So, previous is now here. So we created the dummy node, we pointed the dummy next to the head, we set the previous to the dummy value, and we set the current to head. So now we have two pointers, one pointing to the dummy and one pointing to the current. So again, sorry, there's a bit of indentation here. So while current, so while this is valid, if this happens to be, which in our case, so it's gonna go to the first one. So let's say the first one will be else, 
So if it didn't equal anything, then I would like you to point the previous to the current. So if it comes here and it goes like, hmm, this is not the value I'm looking for. Yeah, let's get another color here. Then I want this one to be previous. So this is first iteration. This is the second iteration, right? So previous is now here. Now we get a move current. And basically we do that by saying current equal current next. So current next should be the new current. So this then will basically move here. Right, so the green is the first step, the red is the second step. Let's now imagine it's one more here. So in the next step, again, previous is gonna come here and current is gonna go there. Now, perhaps we even can write this with a third color. So it's clear for everyone. So in the third step, previous is gonna come here and current is gonna go here. So here in the third iteration, if current dot val equal equal val, we want to delete this. So what we will do is we're going to move current to here and make the next of this point there. So in code, that will be, so the value for previous dot next will now be the current dot next. So if we were to imagine this, I'm out of colors now. So if we were to imagine this, this would basically say the current next, which is right here, will be where previous next point. So this is basically gonna look like this. And then since this is looking there, this connection is gonna go this connection is going to go right and we have to return something at the end of the function so we will return dummy dot next and our dummy is here and dummy dot next is here so we're basically returning everything here thank you for watching if you have any questions please feel free to write them down